In this video, I will be reviewing the St. Petersburg White Knights 36 Whole Pan Set. And I will start with the unboxing, my first impressions, and then I will swatch all the colors and tell you what I think of these paints, uh, pros and cons, and all those oh so important things. So stick around for this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions. Hi guys! So today I will be reviewing the White Knights Extra Fine Artist Watercolors uh, set. This is the 36 colors and these are made in Russia and I'll tell you what it says. The White Knights Extra Fine Artist Watercolor Series is manufactured with finely dispersed and light fast pigments. The paint structure also comprises gum arabic. This results in a quality paint giving artists full assurance when completing important artwork. And I do complete important artwork um, all the time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is how it comes. I haven't opened it yet. So it comes in this sleeve and then in this box. There's a box in the box. And there are smaller sets, obviously, and cheaper ones. Um, I just always find that my most favorite colors um, come in the big sets and I love having um, choices. So the company is called St. Petersburg and it comes in this uh, plastic box. Just a box. So let's see what's inside. Um, you get here lots of mixing um, color space. And it's kind of, um, it's not straight, so it's concave, is that the word? So, um, yeah, it has a nice shape. And hello, my pretties. So this is, I think, some sort of card that tells you that if you have any problems, you can um, contact <laughs> the people. <laughs> There's a number here. There's a phone number. So there you go. You can call. I don't know what it says. I don't read Russian. And there is this swatch card. So that's uh, really nice. And I think what I will do is after swatching this, I think I'll probably laminate this so I can, um, you know, keep it in the box and it doesn't get uh, dirty. And these are all the pretty colors. Look at this. It's so pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these out and I'm going to swatch them and I will tell you my uh, impressions. And I forgot to say that here you have um, also some more mixing spaces and this thing is supposed to come out, I think. Yes, it does very easily when you do it properly. So um, yeah, I don't know what that gives you, but <laughs> it comes out. So there you go. <laughs> Okay guys, so I am unwrapping these guys and you have on the little um, pan all the info on the paper wrapper. On the pan itself, there is actually no um, helpful information. So you better uh, check that before you throw away the wrappers. And I'm just showing you that it is a full pan and it's twice the size of a half pan, surprisingly. I know, it's shocking. Um, <laughs> shocking expose on my channel. So anyway, um, let's talk about these watercolors. So um, as I said, these are made in Russia and there are 55 colors in the range and they only come in whole pans, so full pans. Uh, they don't come in half pans or tubes or any other form. Um, so this is something to consider if you like two paints um, or if you prefer half pans, then um, you should check other uh, options. Now, um, you can find on their website the information about the pigments and the light fastness. Uh, most of these colors have a good rating and then uh, some are um, 
not so light fast now this is a thing if you are a um, serious artist that plans to have their um, work um, you know last for centuries <laughs> then <laughs> I'm just laughing because that's so not me um, you know then you should really um, be aware of how light fast the colors you're using but um, how light fast the colors you're w using are but if you are a amateur crafter scrapbooker if you do um, travel journaling art journaling and your work is mostly um, inside a closed book not um, um, exposed to sunlight uh, and also if you you know frame your pictures they are behind glass and usually hanging on a wall that is not in the direct sun for hours and hours so um, I would say you can risk it and <laughs> work maybe with some colors that are not uh, so light fast for example this one I'm using right now which is probably one of my favorite the quinacridone rose so um, that's that now this is the 36 full pan set and I want to say that at the end of the video I will show you which colors come in the smaller sets um, so you can decide uh, if you want a set which one you should get uh, so that's coming at the end of the video so this is the six the 36 full pan set and it costs uh, I got it for $55 so that is um, like a dollar and a half per um, whole pan which is a really great price uh, for artist grade watercolors and the single pans if you want to buy these um, in individual colors um, they cost where I got them which is um, at Jackson's Art uh, this is a UK based online store so if, you, if you're in Europe this is a great option it's a great store I buy lots of art supplies there um, <laughs> lots and lots <laughs> I'm a good friend of theirs. <laughs> uh, they keep sending me stuff that, you know, I pay for. So um, single pans, they cost uh, most of them around $2 and some are $3. And that is a really great price. If you want the 24 pans, uh, you can find it for around $38. I also looked uh, on Amazon, I think. I think they're there also. So $38 for the 24 pans or $33 if you get it without the box. The 12 pans is uh, around $19. So that is a really, really affordable, great value uh, for these sets. And just for a comparison, um, I was just looking because that's kind of the price range when I compared these to the Cotman, which are the Windsor and Newton student grade um, sets, you can get um, a similar size sets from the Cotman, which are student grade. These are artist grade, so more pigmented um, for around that price, but they will be, they will have 12 half pans. So that is half the paint. <laughs> Uh, point is, I think this set is great value for money. Now let's talk about the cons. Um, some of the color in this set are, I would say, me. <laughs> so most of them are really beautiful. But if you see, for example, that one green at the bottom left corner, um, yeah, it's 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 not a nice color. <laughs> That's my. Um, personal preference. Also a couple of the oranges um, I don't feel like they're a must but overall the colors are really beautiful. Um, you get a great selection and again I will show you at the end what comes in the smaller sets so you can um, compare that. As for um, transparency I really prefer my watercolors to be transparent and here, um, I think most of them are transparent or uh, semi-transparent. Um, nothing unusual compared to my other artist-grade watercolor. So I didn't find these um, to be 
more opaque or something like that. Um, the white is not uh, needed for my purposes. I don't use white watercolor, so I will be um, probably changing that um, maybe for another color from this range. At the end of this video, I will also show you a comparison of the same colors or the closest match I could find from some of the other brands that I have. So you can get um, an idea of how these compare to other brands like Daniel Smith and Sennelier and uh, Kotman. So that's coming at the last part of the video. I'm just going to super speed up the rest of the swatching. So this video is not uh, too long. And um, I did some playing around with the watercolors and those are all the pretty colors. So I was just playing around with them, um, mixing some colors right on my paper and they behaved like my other uh, watercolors. Um, they mix nicely together, they flow, you know, some colors flow more and then some flow less, but um, it was really fun to play around with them and I highly recommend you do that with whatever watercolors <laughs> you may have. So coming up, the comparison with the color range in the smaller sets and um, comparison to other and brands. And you can see the colors are quite um, bright and lovely with the exception of, you know, something like cerulean blue. Um, what I did want to check is I'm always tempted to buy the big sets and um, but obviously that is expensive and more expensive and um, you know the smaller sets are easier to uh, carry around. So I just wanted to tell you um, I looked online and I checked what is in the smaller sets and I kind of swatched it so you would get an idea. So you could decide uh, which set is uh, would work for you. So this is the 24 pan set and it has uh, all these colors that come in the 36 with the exception of two that uh, are called Orange Lake and Red Ochre. Now you can buy um, the White Knight um, watercolors in full pans so you can buy them uh, separately. Uh, like open stock is what I mean to say. And for me, somehow the colors that I really, really love uh, usually don't come in the smaller sets. And of course, if you get a good, um, you know, a good array of colors with, you know, a couple of yellows, a couple of reds, a couple of uh, blues, you can mix many, many, many colors. Um, but still, I enjoy having a large selection and um, yeah, so for example, colors that are pretty much my favorite like the Quinacridone Rose and um, wait, I'll bring the... Sorry, so the Quinacridone Rose and the um, uh, what they call Quinacridone Lilac uh, for example, they don't come in the um, in the smaller sets, and these are like lovely colors. And I recommend, especially if you have a lot of watercolors or you like buying watercolors, um, it can be a bit of a nuisance. But I really recommend uh, looking at the pigments so that you don't buy the same uh, color twice. Now, it could be. Different watercolors from different companies with the same pigments can still look different, um, but some are very, very similar. So just uh, make sure you don't buy the same thing twice. And yeah, some other color, for example, the turquoise blue uh, doesn't come in the 24 set. Now, this is a, a mixture of two pigments. You can see I wrote the pigments up here. Most of these are single pigment, which is... Um, good great to know 
And so this one is a mixture of uh, phthalo blue and uh, what they called here emerald green and other companies it's called phthalo green. So you could make uh, the same color or something very, very similar by mixing, you know, the emerald green and um, the blue. Um, this is a beautiful color that I don't know how to pronounce. It's some type of blue. And this one is, si is a single pigment. There it is here. So this is a really, really beautiful, rich, deep blue. And, um, you know, I'm sure you can make something similar, but I really like having that this type of blue uh, handy for me. It's like a, a convenience color, you could say. Uh, some other colors that don't come in the 24 set um the cerulean blue for example if you like this really light shade of blue it doesn't come in the uh, smaller set and then there are colors in the 36 set that i i mean white for me is useless i don't um mix my watercolors with white if you like to mix pastel and you like a more opaque watercolors then you know white would be very useful for you but i use my paper as my white um, white so I'll probably take this out and then replace it with uh, something else um, another thing that is you know a convenience color is Payne's gray and here it's a mixture of burnt sienna um, blue and violet a little bit of violet so you could totally mix that by yourself um, the neutral black is also a mixture of three pigments and yeah but the neutral black I think comes in all the sets so that's not going to um, matter so you know if you should get the 24 or 36 that's really up to you the difference in price Sorry, the difference in price is, um, it's my little, not so little uh, <laughs> planner. <laughs> the difference in price between the 24 pens and the 36 is um, around $20. So this one is $55 and this one is, I found, uh, I found it for between 33 and 38 Oh, no, it's $38 with the box and $33 with like a cardboard box, so without a plastic box. Um, so it's $20 difference and you get uh, 12 more colors here um, that at least some of them, I, the ruby is also only in this set and it's quite a lovely uh, red. So, you know, if you really, really love the these pigments uh the quinacridone rose and the quinacridone lilac and this type of blue and turquoise and cerulean then maybe it's really worth it for you to get the 36 pen set um and then there's the 12 pen set that comes with uh this um range so this is quite a good selection you know you've got the um, more lemon yellow and then you got the um, more orangey type yellow the warmer yellow you got your um, more yellow red and then you have um, the cooler red that is more towards um, blue you have the ultramarine phthalo blue phthalo green and then this color which is the russian green and you know i think this color will probably be wonderful for um, people who draw nature and that sort of thing. It is a single pigment, so it's not a mixture. Uh, for me, it's not uh, really a must color. And then you have the, which one is this? The umber and burnt umber and the yellow ochre for those uh, earthy uh, tones. And the neutral black, which is a mixture of three pigments. So I think this is like pretty standard. It's pretty similar to what you would get in other companies. Uh, the price is $19 and you get full pans. So I really think this is, if you feel comfortable with mixing colors and, um, or you want to get a set for your, let's say teenage or almost teenager kid, 
um, who is like artsy, I really would yeah, consider. Yeah, I want to show you some uh, comparisons that I made with my other uh, colors, with my other watercolors, so you get an idea. And my impression of these watercolors is that I really, really enjoyed them. I think um, most of the colors are as good as my other uh, artist grade watercolors, and some are really, really nice. I can't say that I think they are better. Let me go through the specific colors. So this one is the uh, cobalt blue, and this one is the White Knights. This one is Daniel Smith. I don't have all these colors in the Daniel Smith. Um, <laughs> I need to win the lottery to get them. But I did get these, um, the dot cards from Daniel Smith. So you can order these from, I think, any serious um, online art store. And uh, I got these from Jackson's Art. I think, or Ken Bromley. They are both in the UK and that's where I get most of my art supplies. Um, and you can try out and you can make so many paintings with these cards. Um, I think it's a great investment to try lots of colors. So this is, I have some Daniel Smith watercolors, but, uh, I sampled a lot of, um, a lot of them from these cards for this purpose. So the cobalt blue is... Um, quite similar to the Daniel Smith. This one is from Cotman and I'm kind of um, questioning it now that I look at it because it looks really a lot like the uh, ultramarine. So I think I should uh, check myself. So this is the Cotman uh, set. It has all the colors in their line and these are half pans. So just, you know, so you see the difference. You get a lot more paint with the um, White Knights set. You get, here is the equivalent of uh, 72 half pans, um, but of course, you know, you only get 36 colors. So, um, yeah, I think I must have, no, I think I swatched <laughs> the right color, <laughs> but you can see that the, um, the cobalt blue in the Cotman line is a lot, it's a lot more, like it's similar to the uh, ultramarine. Um, this one is the quinacridone rose, one of my favorite colors and one of the colors I use all the time. So this one is the White Knights, this one is Daniel Smith, it's slightly, um, I would say, warmer shade. This one is more towards blue and this one is a little bit less, but it's very similar to the Sennelier one. So really similar and the color intensity is as good as its counter... Um, yeah, you understand what I mean. <laughs> English is not my first language, so sorry. Um, this one is the, the turquoise blue, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. And this one is not uh, a pure pigment, it's a mixture. But you can see how gorgeous it is. And this one is from Daniel Smith. Um, very similar. I would say this one is even more intense, but they're really uh, similar. Um, these two are the Indigo, and this one is the White Knights one, and this one is the Schminke Indigo, which is beautiful. Um, the Schminke one is a bit more blue, I would say, and this one seems like more gray, more muted. Um, they're both lovely colors. They're slightly different. What else? I think my favorite um, color in this particular set, I mean in this one over others, was the ultramarine. I thought it was deeper and really prettier than all my other ones and this one is from Ken Bromley. So it's like a house brand for um, their online store. And this one is by Sennelier, and this one is by Cotman, which is the student uh, grade paint by Windsor and Newton. And um, I also have the Daniel Smith one on the dot card, but I already swatched it and it's not as vibrant as this one. So if you're looking for a really great uh, affordable ultramarine blue, I would definitely consider trying this one. The 
these these paints in open stock so just uh, a single full pan cost somewhere between two and three dollars so that is really really great value for money um, this one is here is the swatch is for the phthalo blue um, or just blue as it's called in the white knight set and you can see it's pretty similar the daniel smith one i would say is a little bit more yellow than this one um, closer to the Sennelier, these ones are a bit closer and this one is the Cotman. So the Cotman one is really nice if, um, you know, you could definitely consider this one. Somewhere I lost my, my Cotman, um, <laughs> samples. <laughs> there they are. So wait, let me take a look about the, they have a cobalt blue hue. This is this one and you can see it's, it's. Um, cooler than these guys. I mean, it's more red. I guess that makes it warmer. I don't know. <laughs> I'm very confused by the color wheel. <laughs> Watch my review. I'm so good with color. Um, so you can see the um, the phthalo blue in the Cotman series is really, really nice. And um, yeah, I would definitely consider it. But as I said, these ones they're just like two or three dollars for a full pan so it's definitely worth it even though like today when i'm looking at it this color is a little bit more muted than these two but it's a very very uh slight difference um some other comparisons these are like the lemon uh yellows and this one is from Cotman, this one is from the White Knights, and this one is from the Sennelier. And I gotta say, my favorite is the Sennelier. There's something about the Sennelier paints. I don't know, maybe because they're French and they have this je ne sais quoi type of thing. <laughs> but there's something about them. And I think the yellows are particularly a favorite of mine uh, just because somehow they're like so luminous and beautiful. Um, the White Knights is standard to me. I mean, it's as good as the other ones, but I prefer the Sennelier. It's just my personal preference. Um, these are the Cerulean Blue. This one is from the White Knights and this one is from Cotman. So pretty similar. I think the one from White Knights uh, granulated a little bit more. And um, the Cotman one might be like slightly brighter, but it's a very small difference. Um, this one is the emerald green, and you can see the uh, White Knights one is uh, a lot deeper than the Cotman. Now, this is a, you know, a comparison between artist grade and student grade, so I would expect the paints to be, um, you know, more. Uh, pigmented so it's not a surprise but it's good to uh, see that they kind of live up to to their claims um, this one I think is the the PV 19 so this one would be the quinacridone lilac and this one is the parallel one the names are sometimes different but it's the same pigment so this one is the one from the Cotman you can see this is a lot um, brighter. The reason I, I'm comparing these two is because the price point is uh, kind of similar um, and you know both have like a lot of colors and these big plastic palettes. Um, I gotta say between these two I think I would get this set um, because the colors are more intense. Even though here you get a few more colors uh, but I think this one is uh, a better purchase, in my opinion. Um, so here, what do I? What do we have? We have the burnt sienna and the raw sienna, and you can see they are a lot more vibrant in the white nights. Now I continued because this was so much fun, so I continued making <laughs> a few more samples, and let's look at the sepia. So these are from White Knights, Cotman, Daniel Smith. You can see the shades are a little bit different. Um, I don't know if the camera picks up all the subtleties. I think it does. I think it, yeah, it looks really, it looks very, very similar to what I'm seeing. So you can see the Cotman one is a little bit more on the brown side and the Daniel Smith has this really lovely granulation. I'll let you take a closer look. So all that texture you see here, that's granulation. Um, 
they're all pretty. I gotta say I like the this grayish version of sepia. I gotta say this is to me like a really really nice neutral. I really like it. So it's definitely a personal preference thing. This is the raw amber from White Knights Cotman Daniel Smith. And you can see the Cotman one is a lot warmer on the more on the yellow side. The the Daniel Smith one is a really lovely shade, I gotta say. It seems to me a bit more transparent than the White Knights one and has more granulation. Um, but I think I also applied it more heavily here. So where it's lighter, it's quite similar to this one. This is the Burnt Umber and um, I think all three are similar. The White Knights also has this really interesting granulation and yeah, not a huge difference. It's probably a little bit more similar to the Daniel Smith one. This is yellow ochre, and um, so this one was a mistake <laughs> that I put it here. This is the White Knights, this one is Cotman, Daniel Smith, and this one is Sennelier. And um, yeah, I think they're quite different in their shades. The Daniel Smith one, I used mine from the dot card, so maybe I didn't have already enough color on it. Um, so I'm not sure this is like a really great sample, but it's a lot uh, lighter here. And I would say the Cotman and the Sennelier are closer in shade. They are slightly more orange than the White Knights one, and maybe a prettier shade, um, like a slightly more attractive shade to me but they are very uh, similar to the raw sienna in this in the white knight set so you could switch that or i could switch that if i find this color more appealing and so this is the raw sienna from windsor and uh windsor and newton white knights sorry it's just the wn is um messing with my mind <laughs> and this one's a daniel smith so it's quite a different shade um they're both actually really nice. I like the Daniel Smith one also. The Burnt Sienna, this one is from Windsor New... Ah, Win uh, enough! White Knights, White Knights, sorry. This one is from White Knights, and this one is from Cotman. They are kind of similar. This one is more intense. Um, okay, so here I just made a little mistake, but here is an example of how the same pigment looks uh, very different in different brands. So these are all made with PR 101 and in the White Knight set it's called English Red and then in the Cotman we have the Indian Red. Uh, Daniel Smith also calls it Indian Red and Sennelier calls it Venetian Red. And this is all the same pigment and you can see that these are four quite different colors. I would say the closer one is the Sennelier um, and these ones are um, just different. So I think it really depends on your personal preference. Um, yellows, a few more yellows. So this one is the Hansa Yellow from the White Knight set. And it has the same pigment like um, the Sennelier Yellow. And I think, let me just look at which one it is. Sorry, I was just deep in... Uh, this is uh, PY1. So I'm just wondering <laughs> from what I made <laughs> this sample. I'm not sure. Maybe I made it from the Daniel Smith one. But you can see the uh, White Knights one is very um, intense and really nice, I gotta say. Um, yeah, it's it's a really, really lovely yellow. What else? So the um, alizarin crimson type of uh, paint in the White Knight set is called Matter Lake Red Light. And this one is from Daniel Smith. This one is um, the bright red from Sennelier. And this one is the Sennelier Red. And I gotta say that between the Daniel Smith one and the White Knight's one, I really prefer the White Knight's one. So that's it for this review. I hope it was helpful to you and please leave me a comment if you have any questions. I wish you a lovely day and thanks for watching!